You want to make some eyes? Let's make some eyes. Select everything, destroy it all. Now, add a UV sphere. Go into edit mode. And, uh, yeah, we want to make sure we're in the right view. Rotate this 90. Now, back out into object mode real quick. We're gonna shift D. Make sure we didn't make a duplicate. kit. Cancel that. And this will be the outer eye. Hide that for now. This will be our interior crocodile alligator. Now, we need like turn on uh, x-ray mood. And flatten this along the y-axis. Oh, bring up our outer s sphere again. Move this inside the sphere. Select everything and slightly shrink it just a smidge. Now we're gonna select both these and smooth shade them. Let's go into our color preview mode and add a material to the outer eye. We're gonna turn on transmission to one and the roughness down to zero. Can't see inside of it, but this is where we're gonna go to our render, turn on screen split, <laughs> and then make sure we open it and also turn on this refractions as well. Go back to our material, scroll down, find the settings, and we're looking for this one. Now we can see a little bit of something something. Let's select our inner eye. We're gonna add the color to this one now. Hiding the outer eye for now, going into edit mode. Turn off this x-ray, and now we're just gonna grab some faces and add some color. First of all, we need a deep. Let's hit new and add a new one after that because we want the outer part to be white, right? We'll just choose a new color. Yellow seems nice. And assign that to that. And for the interior, quick, new, yeah. Assign. Sometimes I also like to make these emissions. So that actually might be kind of cool making the emission a solid black. And if we go back into object mode and turn on that, we now have an eyeball. Oh, but it's so basic. This is where we go when we add in something cool. Add in some metallic. And, because eyes are an interesting shape, select this interior and we're gonna move it along the Y and push it in a little bit. Grab the next preset and do the same thing. Gives a nice little effect. We can use a split tool to make some more. Just like that. Let's make a duplicate of this. Get a little bit darker. Give it a cool little outline. Beautiful. Turn on that outer eye. A little bit of too much of a planar change here. Some cool eyes. Metallic really helps give it kind of an anime glowing feel. And so does upping the roughness. Because if you lower it, it's too reflective. Okay. 
thanks for watching. Uh, if you're at this point, hi. You watched the whole thing, or you skipped to the end to see a black screen. Ah, oh, kitten. Here, I use this method to make eyes for all sorts of little sculpts. Click, whatever. And sometimes you can use it as a baseline to make your uh, um, texture map too, because you can bake it and be good, be tasty. Maybe I'll do the texture tutorial for the eyes. I'm doing painting stuff later. Ooh, I'll make something like this. Good boy.